What I like doing the most in the whole world is having a student come in with an idea, with a vision, with a dream that's so big they can't imagine possibly how it could ever be done, and enabling them to be able to realize it. If you're interested in something, and if you show a lot of interest in it, and you show that you have the capacity to learn, um, as long as you have that passion for it, and as long as you are interested and feel it, and, and can solve problems and present yourself in, in a really good way, then um, you shouldn't be intimidated. Uh, there's no hounding, they're, they're not trying to be intense about it at all. It's more of a, on a personal level, they want to get to know you a little bit and see what work you've done um, and see if there's a place for you here in the department. Well, will frequently ask a student is, why do you want to do this? Uh, that, the way a student answers that question is very telling to us in um, understanding why they're seeking this, this career, this profession, this, 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 this way of life almost. And if you are an art student that thinks you want to be a costume designer, absolutely bring in your art. Anything you've drawn or anything you can show will talk, we'll tell the professor something about you. The, the portfolio that the student brings in should be representative of the work they do. And if we can look at that portfolio and get a sense of, of the artistry of the student, of the experience of the student, uh, of what the student is really proud of, uh, and see in that the potential to do well, and see in that uh, a, a spark of creativity uh, that excites us, then those are the, those are the things that are going to really speak to us. Uh, stuff from art classes, uh, we see uh, scenic sketches, we see uh, light plots that they've done, we see um, uh, costume sketches, uh, photography, uh, that's another place where, where it communicates about, about what that person does, pictures of shows they've worked on, uh, particularly a, a picture that, that, that they can use to tell us about what they did on a production, uh, that they can use to, to show their, their painting, their carpentry, uh, their craftsmanship. And sometimes we actually see real projects. When someone brings in a dress that they made and that, that tells us how they sound, tells us what they can do. Uh, someone will bring in um, a prop that they have made and that, that true tells us about their craftsmanship. Uh, and if the, the, unless you designed the program, unless you designed the po show poster, those things don't really speak to you as a designer and they tend to be more things that just clutter up the, the, the process. Uh, the other mistake that people make is they just don't bring anything. You know, they think that what they have probably isn't good enough, or they, or they, or they, uh, they don't take the time to find something. Um, and so when someone sits down in front of us and, and doesn't really have something to show us, that's, uh, that's also kind of tragic. When a, when a student comes to Western to, uh, to audition uh, for us, to interview for us, they will show up in the morning and get a tour of the building. Uh, we'll meet with uh, uh, some of our current design tech students uh, who will probably be leading that tour. Uh, and that's a great time to kind of ask questions and find out more about us. But the, the purpose of the tour is really for you to see our facilities, which are, which are amazing. Uh, but also uh, for you to get comfortable with where you are. The actual presentation of portfolio is done in kind of a different style. What we do is we, we, we take you down to the design studio and we'll have you spread out your stuff on a table in the design studio. Uh, and then you're asked to step into the other room. And then the faculty has some time where they will, they will come in and look through all the portfolios and kind of look through everything. Uh, and then we'll invite you into the room one at a time. And during that time, uh, we will ask you specific questions about the stuff we've seen. Uh, we'll give you the opportunity to tell us specifically about some of the things that, you are, that are important to you and you want to talk about. And that is time limit. We're going to be probably spending uh, four or five minutes at, at most with each student at that point, uh, asking them questions, getting, getting them to talk to us about who they are. One of the, one of the things that students should think about is, we are in a, in a process of evaluating that student, but at the same time, we expect that student to be evaluating us, to be looking at us. We're a very high-end kind of quality program, but we are exclusively geared at undergraduate students. That, a lot of them. If you really know what you want to do, um, an undergraduate degree as, as a BFA in a specific field, stage management or tech, um, without a grad program is super beneficial because you actually get to get your hands dirty. Um, you get to be involved in the production and you get opportunities to light and design and stage management and stage manage while you're while you're here. So that's really great. Our students are sought after. Once we've placed a student into a graduate program or once we've placed a student uh, with a company, a lot of times we'll hear back from those places going, you got another one. 
When, when can we have the next student? Who's coming up? Who should we be looking at? Because that is something that you're going to leave this program with is a fully fleshed out portfolio. Other schools, it's about getting the degree. This school is prepping you to get a job uh, and be successful in the industry.